Hello everyone! Welcome back to another online edition of SFCAC Sunday School. I'm so happy that you could join us today. We will learn God's Word and have a simple activity that you could do together with your family. There will be one lesson for everyone. It is a blessing that we can still worship together in this time, growing in our faith and learning what God is teaching us, like how we can love Him and love each other. Let us start in a word of prayer. Dear God, we thank you for being our God. We praise you today because Paul and Barabbas shared the gospel with those around them. As we listen and learn with joyful and thankful hearts, let us learn more about you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A couple weeks ago, we learned Saul's life has changed when he encountered God as he traveled down Damascus Road. God spoke to Saul and his life changed forever once he chose to follow Jesus. The man mistreated people for following Jesus was now one of those people. Saul went on to become one of the world's greatest missionary. As Saul ministered to the people and shared the gospel with others, he began known as Paul. Paul, Barnabas, Simeon, Lucius, and Manaim were teachers in the church at Antioch. As they worshiped the Lord, fast, and prayed together, the Holy Spirit appointed Paul and Barnabas to go and teach God's word. Barnabas was a prominent Jewish Christian in Jerusalem. When Paul returned to Jerusalem after his conversation, Barnabas was the one who believed in him and introduced him to the other leaders in the church. Paul and Barnabas asked God what he want them to do. The Holy Spirit sent Paul and Barnabas to Cilicia and Cyprus. When Paul and Barnabas arrived in Panthos, a city in Cyprus, an important man named Sergius sent for Paul and Barnabas because he wanted to hear the word of God. Elmas was a false prophet who worked for Sergius. He did not want Sergius to hear Paul's and Barnabas' message, so he tried to keep Sergius away from them. But Paul was filled with the Holy Spirit and told Elmas, You are a child of the devil and an enemy of what is right. You are full of lies and tricks, and you keep twisting the ways of the Lord with your evil. The hand of the Lord is against you, and you are going to be so blind. You won't even be able to see the light of the sun. Elemis has a darkness come over him, and he needed someone to lead him by the hand. When Sergius saw all of this, he believed in Jesus, because Paul's boldness Sergius chose to follow Jesus. As Paul and Barnabas traveled around, they were often able to preach in synagogues, the place where Jewish people gather for worship and religious instruction. Much like in Christian church, a synagogue is not just a building, but also the group of people who gather together. Once the scripture from the law and the prophet had been read, educated Jewish men would encourage those who were there to listen. This was often when Paul would be allowed to speak and share about Jesus. In many of the places Paul and Barnabas travel, there weren't enough Jewish people to have actual synagogue. Their Jewish rules stated there must be a minimum of 10 Jewish men before a synagogue could be established. In these cases, Paul would meet with Jewish people by a river or maybe in someone's house on the Sabbath. He often preached on the Sabbath because he knew there would be gathering of Jews, and he would be able to speak with many at a time. Paul told the history of the Jewish people and their heritage. Through those stories, Paul was able to explain that all of God's work was prepared Jesus, the Messiah, to come to earth and provide a way for us to be saved. Paul explained about the resurrection of Jesus. People were so interested in what the men had to say that they invite them to speak again. Many of the people followed them, continued talking with them, and encouraged them to keep preaching the word of the Lord. When they returned the next time to the synagogue, almost the entire city was there to hear them. Do you think this made the Jewish leaders happy? No, they became very jealous that so many people were listening to their message. The Christian Jews started churches on their own. Paul and Barnabas began preaching to the Gentiles. Gentiles were not allowed to be in synagogues, so they had to form their own churches too. 
The two men didn't let the problems with the Jewish leader stop them from sharing the gospel. Many people were saved because of their dedication to telling others about Jesus. They continued to follow the leading of the Holy Spirit and were filled with joy because of all the things God had done. Paul and Barnabas shared the gospel wherever they went. Telling others about Jesus is a great example to follow. It is not always easy to do so though. Sometimes when we feel the Holy Spirit guiding us to share our faith, we become scared. Maybe we're worried about what other people will think about us or we're afraid we won't know the right words to say. Let us learn and remember the salvation colors to help us remember to share the gospel wherever we are. First is the yellow. Yellow reminds us of heaven. God wants everyone to have eternal life in heaven. Then black. Black is the darkness of sin. We are all sinners. Then red. Red is for Jesus' blood that shed on the cross. He took the punishment of our sin. Then the white. We are made clean when we choose to make Jesus the leader of our lives. And finally, green. Green reminds us to keep growing our relationship with Jesus. The leaders at the church in Antioch had been praying, fasting, and waiting to hear from God. They knew someone needed to go and tell others about Jesus. God chose Paul and Barnabas for this mission, and he was with them as they shared the gospel. He sent many people to help and encourage them. God will do the same for us. Just as he called Paul and Barnabas to share the gospel with others, he has done the same for us. According to Mark chapter 16 verses 15, it says, He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. These are some of Jesus' last words before he went back to heaven. We know choosing Jesus to be our Savior is the only way to have eternal life in heaven. And we know Jesus wants everyone to be in heaven with him. If we don't share the good news of Jesus with those around us, how will they know? Paul and Barnabas understood the importance of this verse and they share the gospel with everyone they encounter. We are to do the same. Today, we learn Paul and Barnabas share God's word as they travel from city to city. We are to share the gospel. Just as Paul and Barnabas prepare themselves for the task, we should too. How can we share the gospel? For today's activity, you will need the activity sheet which is in the description box below. You will fill in the blank as we go through how we can share the gospel to others. We can learn more about God and grow our relationship with Him. Learn and obey what God's word tells us to do. We can tell others about Jesus and use our words to show others what He is like. We cannot make people believe in Jesus but we can always pray for unbelievers. We can show God's love to others. These are just some ways we can share the gospel. Your next step is to look for the opportunities to share the gospel with others through not only your words, but also your actions. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Sunday's lesson. Even though we cannot be together at this time, we can still grow our faith and worship our God. Thank you for joining me today. Make it a great week and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.